Now in forecasting for winter precipitation, there's four types that we're looking at. Those are going to be rain, freezing rain, sleep, and a lot of people's favorite, snow. Now when forecasting for this, there's a lot of things meteorologists get to look for in their tool bag to help them get this correct. Because a different warm layer in the atmosphere at a different level can determine what that precipitation makes its way down to the earth and becomes. Now one of those is going to be what we call the 540 line or the freezing line. Now this is not an actual line in the atmosphere, it's not physical, but a lot of times we can see it based off thickness in our computer models. What you need to know from this line is off to the north of it towards the poles is going to be any moisture that falling as snow. Now down to the south of that, it's going to be falling as rainfall, but the lines become a little bit more blurred as we make our way closer to that line. We could see a wintry mix and all four options are going to be available on the table. A lot of this line actually coincides with the freezing layer down at the surface of the earth. So what happens between the clouds and the ground has a lot of effect on what we're going to be forecasting. This line typically depicted by models is prone to changes in position leading to the uncertainty seen a lot of times in forecast. As the event gets closer in time, the line typically builds confidence in location. But in some events, models can each place this line at different locations leading to the meteorologist's experience coming in aid to provide a more accurate forecast.